Hey guys, welcome back. So guys, we are continuing our PHP admin panel with website. So now guys, in this video, we are going to start with the front end side. Okay, so as we have seen that we have created our admin dashboard and here we have done with the user crud in previous four or five parts. And now guys, we are going to get started with the front end side. Okay, so on this, if you go on your root panel, so here you find the root directory, right? So guys, we are going to start with the website designing where we are going to create the structure format like integrating the bootstrap, CSS, JS and all. Okay, so guys, let's get started. Let's move to our editor. Okay, so here is our main root file index.php. Hit enter. And now let's refresh. Perfect. So we are on the index.php file. So now guys, what we have to do, let's create one assets folder. Assets. Inside this assets, we have the CSS and JS files. So let's create one folder called CSS. And again, one more folder with the name JS. So now guys, we need to link our bootstrap. So for that, you can just go to the getbootstrap.com. So let's move there go to getbootstrap.com and copy the css and js file of it so let's move on the docs and here you find the cdn link of the bootstrap let me copy that paste here and just copy this complete file name let's create that bootstrap min.css and control a right click copy that and paste inside your file let's paste it done and make sure guys remove this line to ignore the console log error now let's close this file and same we, we are going to integrate the bootstrap bundle.min.js file so let's go and here is the bundle min.js file okay let's copy this paste here and again copy the file name let's create the file so let us control a control c copy that and get back paste it and again guys you need to remove this map linking let's close the file done so we have linked it and now guys let us create one simple styles.css file so which will be useful for creating custom css okay and now one more uh, cdn link i require that is jquery cdn link so let's search for that and just go to this releases.jquery.com and click on the minified and here you find the src let's copy that link paste it and now you can copy this complete 3.7.0 and just create a file with this name and let's copy this get back paste it okay let's close it guys so now we have added all the css and js what are the basic requirements and now we are going to create one folder called includes where we are going to set up the header footer and navbar everything as simple okay so now guys let us just create header.php then footer.php a simple navbar.php file okay so first step we are going inside the index.php file create a html5 okay and now link the css and js so inside asset css we have these files so for css you can just call this path and assets css then your bootstrap bootstrap min.css same way for the styles.css okay styles styles.css and now guys coming back to the script let's paste the script src let's go with assets forward slash js forward slash again and first you are going to integrate jquery and then guys you are going to integrate your bootstrap bundle file forward slash bundle min.js all set 
so now guys we are going to divide this so okay let's control x this complete head tag and paste inside your header.php and get back again to the index file let's copy this footer and paste inside the footer.php as simple now get back again to the index let's include the files like include where you'll mention let's go inside includes folder forward slash header.php same way for the footer.php okay and now guys uh, let's see the output get back refresh okay so you can see that document title has come and the blank page so let me just change the title let me tell like device services okay save it and now if you refresh here you see title has changed perfect so on the index page we have linked the header and footer part so now guys main thing we are going to get started with the navbar let's go to the get bootstrap website and just search for navbar so here we find a simple navbar let's copy this get back and go inside your navbar.php file paste the complete code so let me just separate everything so it will be clear okay so this is my brand and this is a mobile view button and then your ul tags let me remove this form and complete ul tag okay so i don't need this drop down and a simple you will start and end and here we can remove this not required remove the active and here home about us then our services this is not required and just add href which will be services.php and other files also okay so here you mentioned this is index.php and this will be your about us.php okay so now guys let us save this and get back to your header so coming back to header and here you are going to include your navbar so it will be applying in all the pages so let's set up here user include function include function and now you have to include your navbar.php navbar.php file save it and yep let me get back and refresh so here you see your navbar is set so now guys i just want to make the navbar like visible and better so just go to navbar and here I'll make this BG white add a shadow and make it to sticky top always and here is your brand name you can tell device services or device repair and coming back to the UL your nav links so here it is margin and I am going to make margin start that is MS auto refresh okay and make sure you are pasting this inside a container i do not require container fluid let's make it container that's it so guys we have done with the basic setup and now if you want like continue with the about us page same way let's close all the file about us copy and paste same way for the services.php also paste okay so you can get back refresh you are on different pages so now guys I just wanted to change the title like when I go to home page it should say home page or else about page or services page so for that you can just add a simple variable here let me just show you dollar page title equal to double quotes semicolon okay and here you'll mention this is services copy this and just paste inside your index also let's break it and same way you need to add in about us too so let's paste it 
and mention about us so now guys you need to copy this variable and go to your header.php let's go inside includes header.php and on this title we are going to tell open php and close php so first we are going to check in the if condition using a set function if this variable is set okay then echo the variable else you can mention that echo device services let's come here paste it save and now let's get back refresh so here you see so on the services page you see services title let's go on about so you see that difference okay so now guys in this video that's it we have seen how to set up a front end page and now guys let us continue in the next video about the authentication okay so as you can access the admin dashboard directly so we are going to create a login page and we'll secure the admin dashboard so guys thank you for watching this video please subscribe like and share